Hello students, uh, through this video I will be discussing about class 12 biology important topics and this video it will be helpful for all the boards, TBSC, CBSC and ISC board students and uh, today uh, through this video I will be discussing about uh, the third unit of class 12 biology and the name of the unit is uh, biology in human welfare, biology in human welfare. So let's begin. So biology in human welfare that is the third unit of class 12 biology and in this unit there are three chapters. The first chapter is human health and disease. The second chapter is strategies for enhancement in food production and the third chapter is microbes in human welfare. So here through this video I will be discussing about the important topics that you need to cover from these three chapters of this unit. So first human health and disease. In the human health and disease, you need to read about the definition of the disease, about the communicable and the non-communicable disease. That means what do you mean by this and the difference between these two kind of diseases. Then describe the modes of transmission of disease that is maybe direct or indirect method. Then write the causative agents, symptoms and prevention of the following diseases like viral diseases, common cold, chikungunya, dengue. So these are all viral diseases. So they are main causative agents, symptoms and how we can prevent this disease. Then bacterial diseases like typhoid, pneumonia, diphtheria, plague, protozoal diseases like amoebiosis, malaria, then helminthic diseases like escariasis, spiraliasis, and fungal diseases, ringworm. The next is uh, give the graphical outline of the life cycle of malarial parasite, mainly Plasmodium vivax. It has the sexual as well as the asexual cycle. So you need to read about these important uh, topic about the life cycle of malarial parasite which is very important. Then what do you mean by cancer? List the characteristics of the cancerous cells. Then illustrate the causes, diagnosis and the treatment protocol for the cancer disease. Name and explain the different types of tumor mainly benign and malignant tumor and differentiate between these two kinds of tumor. Define immunity name and explain the types of immunity and mainly you need to read innate and acquired immunity, active and passive immunity and humoral and cell mediated immunity. Then the definition, source and the function of interferons. Then the structure of a typical antibody, the diagram as well as the explanation and it is in brief also called as Ig or it is also called as immunoglobulin molecule. The function and the occurrence of different kinds of antibodies like IgG, IgA, IgM, IgD and IgE. Then the explanation of vaccination and immunization, mainly their definition. Then what do you mean by allergies and allergens? These are the general symptoms of allergies. Then explain the given terms, uh, autoimmunity, primary and secondary lymphoid organs or tissues, AIDS, its causative agents, modes of transmission, symptoms, diagnosis mainly by the ELISA and its prevention protocol, replication of retrovirus in the infected human cell with diagram you need to read this, then the harmful effects of alcohol and smoking on health, write the sources and the effects of the following drugs, opiates, cannabinoids, cocaine and barbiturates and the explanation about the reasons of drug addiction and prevention and the control of alcohol. So these are some important topics from this chapter number one of this unit. Then the next second chapter of this unit that is strategies for enhancement in food production. And in this chapter you need to read the main steps of the plant breeding. You need to read a short note on green revolution, the advantages of mutation breeding. Then give the examples of some Indian hybrid crops like wheat, rice, maize, sugarcane, millet. Then in question number 5 there are two sub questions I have written. One name some disease resistant varieties of crops and number two name some insect resistant varieties of crops. Then explain biofortification SCP that means single cell protein. Then protoplast culture and somatic cell hybridization. Then question number seven, there are also uh, it has also two subsections like write the procedure of plant tissue culture and write the application of this tissue culture in crop improvement. 
the next question write a brief note on inbreeding outbreeding crossbreeding then number four artificial insemination and its advantages next uh, moet um, multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology then next question is write the measures for proper maintenance of dairy farms and poultry farms and lastly uh, last is give the definition brief idea and the advantages of apiculture and pisciculture now come to the last chapter of this unit that is microbes in human welfare this is the last chapter of this biology in human welfare unit and here you need to read the uses of microbes in different fields like in household products industrial products sewage treatment and for that you need to read the primary and secondary or biological treatment production of biogas microbes as biocontrol agents biocontrol agents and microbes as biofertilizers so these parts are very important and also you need to read two explanation one is about the integrated pest management and another is the biochemical oxygen demand so these are some important topics which i have discussed here from this unit biology in human welfare okay three chapters are there and here i have discussed the main topics which you need to cover from these three chapters so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share and subscribe my channel thank you